Hello and welcome to my video tutorial series RPG in a Box. I'm Carsten and in this episode we will improve the visual details of our model and beautify our world. In the last episode we made a very simple animated river and additional a very simple bridge. And in this episode we will plan our animation sequences over the time systematically and additional we will build a new bridge from a structured block generated of layers from the noise generator. Before we start, I deleted all old models, so we will create the new ones yet. So we opened the straight river from the last episode and I erased all frames and the animation stuff and we will create it again yet. So the concept is to create an animation over time in four steps. So we will use four frames and then the animation starts again. So we have a sequence over four time steps and we want to plan it. So we need a concept to do it yet. At first, I will color the lines where the animation should flow. So I think at these lines. And then we have our bubbles or waves or something else, call it as you like. And we want to animate them over time. So in the straight river, it's really simple. My flowing direction is to the front, so the water is flowing from here to there. And now we will plan our animations. So I will use different colors, one color for each frame, to plan my flowing animation in the time and then I will copy it from frame to frame and erase the old colors. So let's start. We saved the color for our water in the last episode at our color palette. So we use the custom palette and we have the water color here and we need additional a new color to do our animation. So we define it yet with the color code 7597E9. So that should be our animation color. So we draw the first frame at these positions. It's not really complex, so maybe you will like you don't like it and you want to do a better one, feel free so. Maybe there are better solutions to animate things over time. So if you know a better solution, let me know in the comments. I'm really interested in. So the next frame should be with this color at one voxel further. And I use this color for the third frame. And then we get it for the straight river. The fourth frame should be the white marker. Okay. So now we copy that frame and we erase all wrong markers in the first frame by repaint it with our watercolor. like this. So that's the first frame. And in the second frame, we use this and copy it again. And then we erase the markers for this animation frame. Except the gray ones. And we repaint it with our watercolor. And then we need another copy. And we will erase all markers except this one. And 
And in the last animation step, just the white markers will survive. Like this. No. Like this. And we will draw our animation color over the markers. And now we have our animation ready. So we can script it as default from frame one to four in the loop with speed eight. Okay, overwrite it, go to the preview and save before. Go to the preview and we see we missed our transparency settings. So we will do it yet. We have this setting for our water. So we add the transparency color and give it one bar more transparency. I think that should be okay. So let's save the model again and check the preview again. So it looks pretty good. Like a belt in a factory, <laughs> but it's okay. So, so now we will create our curved river. So let's take the grass tile and copy it to river to grass tile and that's a curve and it should be the right one and I define it from the front so right should be like this and we will erase the voxels out of the shape like this and this one too. And one level deeper. So the edges are okay. And then we will color it with the sand color. Let's take this. And now we have to paint the water surface like this. Okay. And this model drove me crazy in the last episode because it was so complicated to sequence the animation in the curve and do it right. So I made concept art on a sheet of paper and so we will do it now and hopefully a little bit better. So let's start with the first frame. We have to check the other animation first. So let's look. The river comes from here to there. So we have at a flowing direction in the right line, a gap of one voxel and in the left, a gap of three voxels. So let's use this. Our river is going to the front, comes from here. So we have this, with the wrong color. We have this and this. And we will paint our markers. The animation line should be like that. 
So we will do all animated. We will, we will paint all our animations at dispositions. Okay, like this. And now we need the other spots. So it should be, we should check it. Um, that is the back to the front and the left is attached to the grid. The left is attached to the grid and the gap is one voxel, so like this. Okay, and then we have to define more spots, four voxels further like this and at this position. And in the inner corner, I let, I will stay at uh, two animated points. So the impression will be that the water is flowing faster in the inner side of the curve. I'm not sure if this is really correct, but I think it's an interesting effect. So let's make a try. So now again, the gray. And we go one voxel down the river. And here we use this. And then we come again from there. So, and then the next color was this. So we do the next step. And we now use this position and that, no, that position. We will leave them out. And we have the white markers, so we erase all false positions. This and this and this and this. And yeah, this too. Okay. And now we will create our frames again. So let's copy this one and then erase the false animated. No. Same arrow like in the last try. So like this. And then we copy that and keep the gray boxes. And we go to the next frame and duplicate that and keep the, I don't know what color this is, frames. like this, and in the last frame, we keep the white voxels like this, and we made it. So let's recolor our animation stuff. So, and check the transparency effects. There are no transparency effects. Okay, so we do it later. Uh, we. paint the model markers. And now we can redefine our transparency effects. So that was two bars from the end and the other color is this with three bars from the end and we save our model and we will check the animation frames. So let's check it out and it looks pretty good. So we add the animation for default loop. So that's okay. And now we will add it to the map and check the results. So let's open this 
start area and then we will use the river. The blue arrow is the flowing direction like this. And then we add our curve and we have the wrong surface level. So we adjust it to the surface high. and bring this tile in position. And now we need the other corner, but it's not done yet. So like this, and we will save it. So let's check the results in game. We start the game and we see our animation looks pretty good but we have an edge and I want to correct it yet. So that is a transparency effect with not removed surface. Oh, and I will check it again. And I think that looks pretty good. So let's do the next curve. So let's do the other curve. We have actually the curve right. So let's do a river grass curve left. Uh, and with a symmetric model animation, we should use the mirror tool, but there is a little complication we have different gaps at this position so we have to correct them but in the first step we also can use uh, we can use the mirror tool too so let's flip our model and i think it should be done by adjusting the frame numbers. So let's try it out. The river is flowing in this direction, so that should be okay. The left curve, the right curve, yeah. And let's check the first frame. The left line has a gap of three and the right line a gap of one, so it should be like this should be the first frame. So we have to move from our frame one at the end. And again, frame one at the end. And that should do the trick. So let's try it out in the map. We save the model and we go to the map. And now we miss something. So, okay. Save and check it out in the game. So pretty good. Works perfectly well. And let's go. Okay. The next step is to create a bridge. So let's start with a cube for sculpturing a bridge. So let's create a new resource and choose the type tile and call it block stone depth. 16 times 16 times 16. And it should be impassable. And we want to use the noise a little with stone-like color of hex code 676565. So, and this is pretty good. And now we will add more plates. I don't know the word. So, 
we will build a block from it by copy the layer and add a few more and shift the positions. Like we did before in the last episode. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So accept and we don't have to shift that one because we would shift it to six by sixteen and that is absolutely senseless. Okay. We made it. And we will save the model and then we will copy that again to build a bridge of, of stone. Okay. And now we want to sculpture our bridge from this rock block, stone block. So we erase these voxels like this and then at the position 5 to this position we erase this one and then we need a high of two voxels at the start and the end of the bridge like this and all other should be three like that. So we erase all these voxels. Oh, I can erase all voxels. And then this, these two. And now we will shape the path over the bridge by erasing these voxels too. And I think this one. Yeah. And this and that should be correct. Okay. And now we will bring this bridge to our river, but not the river itself, we will use, let me know about it, we will copy that one and we, we used the name, so let's call a uh, bridge with a placeholder. We will rename it later, but the name is blocked so we have a problem and now we use the bridge to paste it in this model so we have our animation under the bridge so we accept this one and now we have to save and we can close all other resources to then Erase the stone bridge, delete the stone bridge. Okay, and now we can rename this one to bridge. And the bridge is, oh, where, there's another name. The bridge is obviously on a river and attached to grass and from stone so that's it and let's place the bridge in our map the river direction is this and we have to draw an interaction line and walk in interaction line and save it and now we will do the final test so let's jump in the game, start, and we miss 
something. There is not just this bridge at the river. We have four animation frames and we inserted the bridge in just one frame. So we have to adapt the other frames too. To avoid a blinking bridge. So save it and back to the game. And now we got it. Okay. Mission completed. So the last thing we should do is correct our possibility. At the time we put the bridge at the map, there wasn't a navigation line drawn on the tiles. So we have to set the passability to on because a bridge is of course passable, but not the river. So save this and that's it for this episode. So as usually, if you enjoyed that so far, give me thumbs up, stay tuned, and I would be really excited about your subscription. See you in the next episodes. Bye.